In today's video, I'll be showing you an excellent way that you can make a microscope for your computer, which can take quality images as well as video. The total cost is actually very inexpensive. You can do this for around $13 or less if the parts are purchased on eBay. The microscope here that you see that plugs into my computer will magnify up to 50 times. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to put one together. The first thing that you're going to need is one of these older Creative Live webcams. The one you're looking at here is model number VF0250. Now I picked this one up you see here for around $8 shipped. You can find these on eBay used between $5 and $12 each. This one here has an adjustable lens for focusing. This is not an autofocus. This whole part rotates nicely. The bezel pops off with your fingernail. You're going to have to remove that for this project. And this will still turn by hand right now. It's turning to focus. The other thing that you're going to need is right here. This is a pocket microscope and they retail around three or four dollars. They're very inexpensive. That's an LED right here. There's an LED right here as well that lights up. Let me turn that on. You can see it's lit up in the area where you would be viewing. You can turn that off. This is just an LED for lighting a general area like a flashlight. They do work extremely well for that low price. In order to connect the Creative Live webcam to this pocket microscope, you're going to have to enlarge the hole at the end here. This was a small hole in a piece of plastic. I had to make that larger to accept this part of the webcam. It's going to snap into that opening you see here. In order to do that, you're going to need a twist drill or a drill bit, either 21 ths or 11 seconds. And what you're going to do, you're going to heat the end of the bit right here over a flame or over a gas burner, get it nice and hot. Don't get too carried away that it's glowing, but just heat it up enough that you can insert it into the plastic and get the proper diameter. You push it all the way in, and then once it's in, you twist it and pull it back out. This is a snug fit, and pop back out. Once you push it in, you're going to notice there's going to be some plastic that was melted that pushed in. It kind of curls up when you remove the bit. Once it cools, take some tweezers, you're going to reach in carefully without scratching the lens and you're going to grab any pieces of plastic that you pushed out of the way with the drill bit. Just grab it with the tweezers. If it's kind of messy in there, you're going to take a rat tail file or a round file and gently clean away the edge. Don't go too deep. You will hit the lens and scratch it. Just keep filing it nice and smooth. Once it's nice and smooth, you're going to try fitting the webcam this part right here, the black part that sticks out, all right, into that opening. So I'm going to line the two up. And as you can see, it fit perfectly. Now as I'm rotating the microscope, I'm actually adjusting the focus because there's two ways to focus the microscope. One is using the knob right here. You can see it going up and down, all right. That's one way to focus, and you can also adjust the focus by rotating this as well. Now what I do, because I like to look at surface mounted components on a circuit board, as well as other things on top of a surface that I want to look down on, an ordinary microscope is designed to have light shining up from the bottom in order to see the magnified image, but a lot of the times you're going to be using things that light cannot pass through, such as a circuit board or something laying on top of a desk that you would like to see up close. So that's why this has the built-in light. So when you put that on, it's the wrong one. This will light up the area underneath. You will be able to focus up and down and you're going to have an incredibly sharp image which you can record. Now you could take snapshots of the image or you can record a video as you're moving around to look at things. If you notice you can't get this clear by adjusting the knob, then you're going to rotate this a bunch of times until you get it in the right position. You could pop it off and unscrew the 
the lens a little further like this and then try it again. Once you have it properly set, you will be able to adjust the microscope for a very crisp image. What I'm going to do now is put this back together, plug this into my computer, and show you how well this works. The first thing we're going to be taking a look at is this $5 bill. We're going to be looking very closely at all the detail under magnification. Once I'm done with the $5 bill, I'm going to be taking a look at the surface mounted components on this Arduino Uno board. What I'm going to do, let me pull this apart, all right, you don't want to glue this in perfect position like that onto the scope. You want to be able to have it rotate around like I just showed you. So the best thing you can do is to apply a little bit of epoxy using a toothpick to the inside edge of the plastic ring and then you could push this in, let it snap in place and dry overnight. By doing that, the two of these will stay together and not separate. You will also be able to rotate around the microscope to help focus what you're looking at. There will be certain times when you're going to want to hold the microscope a little higher above the surface to look at things and there's going to be times when you're going to want to place it right against the surface. That is why it's very critical to have this moving around so you're able to adjust the height off of the front of the scope here from the surface. You also have an ultraviolet and it requires three button cells which is four and a half volts. Let me connect this back together and show you what this is capable of. Okay, pop back in nicely. Let me put on the light on the bottom. Go. Position it like that. Lay it down. All right. Let's take a look over towards the seal here. Let me move over towards the seal. Now it looks pretty damn clear. to see fine detail and I can adjust it the bottom one once it's in I have this in the perfect position right now for this because it's focusing perfectly right there you can see all the detail you can see pretty incredible for a 12 or 13 dollar setup that I made now let's go over here towards the other seal Birds are having a field day today. Let me take a look over here. Move over to here. Great detail. I don't think you can expect much better than this especially for the price. Alright, All right, let's take a look at the circuit board now. Put that off to the side. That's the Arduino Uno, or a knockoff version of it. Okay, let's take a look at this chip right here. All right. Look at how clear that is. Atmel. You can see if there's any solder bridges between the pins. Now if I wanted to hold this a little higher up above the board, like a quarter of an inch or three-eighths, you're going to have to spin this around like this to allow you to focus it higher above the board. The position I have it now only allows me to focus fairly close, like right there. So I'm going to adjust it clearer. That's pretty darn good. I'm looking at all the, you can see the traces, and all the other pens, let's go over here, let's 
take a look at the top of this crystal right here. Let's take a look at this crystal. Look how clear that is. See every little imperfection in the housing of the crystal. Let's go over here. I can move it up and down to make it clear. Right there is pretty clear. Take a look at the top of these capacitors. It's a very useful camera and it's very easy to make. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.